You see, a convicted felon killed my son with an illegally obtained gun. Our gun control lobbyists and politicians claim that their policies will save lives and reduce violence. Well, those policies did not save my son. The laws being discussed are already implemented in cities across this country. We have decades of evidence proving they do not work. St. Louis, New York, Chicago, Washington, Atlanta are gun control utopias, and they are plagued with the most violence. Ten more laws, 20 more laws, a thousand more won't make what has already illegal more wrong or stop criminals from committing these crimes. And y'all are delusional if you think it's going to keep us safe. I am a walking testimony of how the criminal justice system and the gun control laws, which is steeped in racism, by the way, have failed the black community. By the age of 25, I had already went to 18 young black men funeral at the age of 25. I have one black man in jail, one black man in the grave, and my young grandson going to be raised without a father. And it's a curse on the black community and everyone else's. Something has to change. Thoughts and prayers and calls for more gun control isn't enough. How about letting me defend myself from evil? I, you don't think that I'm capable and trustworthy to handle a firearm. You don't think that the Second Amendment doesn't apply to people that look like me? Who and you who would call for more gun controls are the same ones that are calling to defund the police? Who is supposed to protect us? We must prepare to be our own first responders to protect ourselves and our loved ones. I am a legal, law-abiding citizen, and I don't need the government to save me. I teach people how to use a firearm. I empower others to look at me to understand the Second Amendment is their right. I am a proud member of the D.C. Project Women for Gun Rights, we believe that education is the key to safety, not ineffective legislation. We support meaningful solutions that will actually save lives. Wow. God bless this mother, first of all, for what she's been through. Her story, absolutely tragic and far too common here. And America, I think we can all agree on that point. But for some reason, what we can agree on is what this woman is saying. The fact that gun-free utopias such as Chicago, New York, San Francisco are not gun-free at all. The law-abiding citizens don't have guns in those areas, but the criminals always do because the definition of being a criminal is to break the law. As this brave mother puts it, five laws, 10 laws, 20 more laws at the federal level, state level is not going to matter because criminals break laws. And if they seek to do harm, they're going to find a firearm or another weapon to commit that harm. What we need is to ensure law abiding citizens like you and me and this brave woman have the ability to defend ourselves from these violent perpetrators. When will the Democrats get this? They do get it, but they'll never admit it because this is their weaponry. This is their ammo in the political debate. They use emotion every time a shooting occurs to push more gun control, more laws, more regulation to take that power away from we the people. We need to elevate more voices like this brave, brave young mothers in defense of our Second Amendment.